My feelings for Aubrey Williams, they real. Which is more than what I can say for Alessia Knight, considering that she doesn't have a single ounce of compassion or remorse in her body. She attacked Aubrey in her hotel room when I was going there to discuss business with her. She not only beat her down, bloodied her, but she pile drove her onto a bed of nails and I had to rush Aubrey to the hospital. And Aubrey was fighting for her goddamn life. Aubrey Williams is one of the only people in this world who ever gave a damn about me. Whoever actually loved me for who I am and the fact that Alessia tried to take that from me. I guarantee you, if she was still with Deshaun Walton, which I thank God that she ain't no more. I would have never done that to her. But then again, I never really trusted Alessia when I first started in ROV or in professional wrestling in general because she was always this conniving, snot-nosed, entitled bitch who wanted everything handed to her on a sofa platter. <laughs> I never had that silver platter lifestyle. I always longed for it, though. I always wanted to be treated like a queen. Always wanted to be treated like royalty. Always wanted to be like the people who I looked up to growing up. But I never had it that easy. I never had it as easy as Alessia did before she left Narcy behind. When I was eight years old, I was split up from my sister in the foster care system. I'm 33 years old now. That's 25 years I've gone without seeing my younger sister. And each day, it eats away at me. So much so that the fact that Alessia has the audacity, the motherfucking gall, to do what she's done to her younger sister Narcissa, it makes me sick. I've had it way harder than Alessia ever will. I had to go through foster care. I had to go through the welfare system to support myself. And I had to go through hell and back with my son, who by the way has a name because my deadbeat baby daddy wouldn't do shit to support him. He left him in the middle of the cold winter with nowhere to go, with no goddamn shoes. You have to ask yourself what kind of a person would do that. <laughs> only a sickening and heartless person would do something like that. Just like only a sickening and heartless person would leave their little sister behind in an insane asylum. Nobody to talk to. Nobody to play with. Nobody to go to for advice. That's what you did. And then when Deshaun had to save you from all the peep show windows, all the motherfucking strip clubs and porn movies and drug rings that you happen to be a part of, he saved you and you stabbed him in the back. Just like Narcissa, you stabbed her in the back too. Yet for some reason, Narcissa sees some good in you, but I know you, Alessia. I've known you since I first started in this industry. And you know, I know my bitch-ass nigga of a baby daddy is somewhere watching this. So let me tell that little nigga something, too. Wherever your bum ass is, I hope you stay there. Because you never deserved a woman like me. Alessia never deserved to have somebody like me working for her because I'm the one who's been making her the most goddamn money out of anybody in this industry. And you know, 
my son Richie. Yeah, my son Richie. I tell him about your child all the time, Alessia. And he always asks me what his name is. And it's sad that I never have an answer for him because your child's been born since last summer and yet he still does not have a name. Hell, you don't even know who the fucking baby daddy is and whoever that person is, I feel sorry for him. Cause it ain't Deshaun Walton, it ain't Virgil Snow. Hell, for all we know, it could be somebody on the DCA roster. It could be anybody on the ROV roster. Hell, it could even be somebody in FAM or Supremacy World Wrestling or anybody in between. That could be the father of Alessia Knight's unnamed bastard son. But one thing is for sure. Penny Shaw is not a heartless bitch like everybody makes her out to be. Because unlike Alessia, I actually know how to show compassion. I actually know how to show love. Which is how I found Aubrey. Which is how I fell for Aubrey. Which is how I became Aubrey's. <laughs> She became the love of my life, my mistress, if you want to call it that, yeah. When it gets hot and heavy, sometimes the games get a little bit intense. And well, there's nothing I like more than a little intense competition every now and again. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make here is I actually know how to show love and compassion. Something that Alessia will never be able to show. Cause she's nothing more than a heartless bitch. Who spreads her legs for every nigga she sees. She likes to spread her legs for every nigga in sight. I said it on episode 5.5 .5 of Ring of Valiance. And it still remains true to this very fucking day. She doesn't know who her baby's daddy is. She hasn't named her son yet. You know. It's real sad and pathetic. The kind of person that Alessia has become. But it doesn't matter anyway. Because soon enough. She's going to be put out of her misery. And not too many people are going to do anything about it. Because they don't have the motherfucking balls to do what I can. They don't have the motherfucking balls. They don't have the intestines. They don't have the heart and soul to do what I'm capable of doing to that bitch. Because if I ever get my hands on Alessia for hurting the people that I love. If I ever get my hands on Alessia for trying to murder my Aubrey. Well, quite frankly... Alessia is going to wind up in a casket. Hell, she might end up buried alive. <laughs> Alessia Knight, I hope you're watching this. Because all the hardships that I've had to face in life, I've overcome them all. All but one, and that one is you. I've never beaten you in the ring. I've never beaten you in life. I'll never be able to beat you in life. But if I ever get you in the ring. Oh baby. If I ever get you in that motherfucking ring. I swear to God. I'ma beat you like you stole something. I'ma beat you like every nigga you've ever fucked in this business. Beats their meat when they look at a picture of you. <laughs> and you know what's the best part? Is that not even your baby sister Narcy is going to do anything about it. Because just like you don't care about her and her well-being, I bet the feeling is very much mutual in her case. Because she doesn't give a shit about you. I don't give a shit about you. Aubrey damn sure doesn't give a shit about you. Hell, even the other two girls you left behind in that asylum, Lorelai and Sierra, they don't give a damn about you. But that's okay. 
Because it doesn't matter which one of us it is. At the end of the day, Alessia, your ass is gonna get put out of your motherfucking misery once and for all. Matter of fact, no. Your ass is gonna be permanently silenced once and for all. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to comfort my little psycho angel. So that way, Alessia can spend all her time doing what she does best. Being the homie hopper of the wrestling industry. Being the one woman in this industry who spreads her legs for every nigga in sight. It's time for us to play, Alessia. Ha, 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 ha,